It appears that our number was up, and that number was 666. We stood there before a jury of madmen. I was locking eyes with the King of Hell. His vision went far past my eyes and into my soul. He saw the fear in me, much like a wild, hungry, unhinged dog sensing the fear of the mailman as he nervously walks to the front door. He was staring for what seemed like hours, but it was only a few minutes. Staring. Staring as if he wanted me to say something. Well, I'm waiting for you to say something! Hmm? Oh, right. I have my brother over He. What's the problem? The problem is, you two destroyed one of my most expensive hotel suites! And I expect some form of compensation! Hmm. Let's see what we got. This is all we have. Take this, shove it up your fire pit. What is this? Okay, you listen to me, you goddamn mugface bastard! Both of you have two choices now! You either give me your souls, or you go out there and you collect souls for me! I'll give you one minute to think about it. Come on, Dicey. Okay, have you decided what you... Oh my fuck! You go out there and you get me those souls! You two better not screw this up. <laughs> what? Sure, whatever, man. And just like that, we became minions of the devil, going around collecting souls like the Grim Reaper. A symbol of karma and regret, the reality check that they couldn't cash. We were doing this to save our own souls, but a part of me knew our souls were already doomed. This is our nine to five now. We were just part of a domino effect of one bad decision collapsing on top of the other. We were two cups, constantly seeking to be filled with dreams. But now, we're overflowing with nightmares. 